Abraham Louis Breguet, who lived from 1747 to 1823, is widely regarded as the greatest watchmaker ever. Born in Neuchâtel, Switzerland, he moved to Paris as a young man, and it was here that he produced his greatest work. Breguet either invented or perfected much of what makes a modern wristwatch. He developed a practical, automatic winding system, invented shock protection and repeater gongs. He pioneered the slim profile of watches that we now take for granted, and in 1810 he conceived the world's first wristwatch for Napoleon's sister, Caroline Murat. Not only was he a great watchmaker and inventor, he was a designer, creating both the Breguet hands and numerals that are still widely used today. He was a diplomat, navigating a delicate course through the changing landscape of French political life. He was a favourite at the court, making many watches for Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette. He continued to work during the revolution before going into exile in Switzerland. On his return, he worked for Napoleon and then for Louis XVIII. All this time, he developed an export business supplying the crowned heads of Europe, who from time to time were at war with France. His introduction of the subscription watch, the first watch to be paid for in advance, was proof of his skills as an entrepreneur. He used this to rebuild his business after the devastation of the French Revolution. Honours recognised his unique contribution to social, scientific and military life. He was appointed to the Board of Longitude and as chronometer maker to the French Navy. He entered the Academy of Sciences and received the Légion d'honneur. He is best remembered as the inventor of the tourbillon, an ingenious device that rotates the escapement of a watch within the movement, serving to cancel out errors due to gravity. Even today, the construction of a tourbillon is considered one of the highest achievements of the watchmaker's art. Breguet's position as chronometer maker to the Navy, or horlogeur de la Marine, is celebrated in the watch from the Marine Collection of 1999. Designed to be more robust than the classic dress watches, with a heavier case and crown guards, this model still shows the signature details that make a Breguet instantly identifiable. The coin edge case band echoes the neoclassical style of Breguet's own pocket watches. The alligator strap is attached by gold screws rather than spring bars. The dial is 18 karat yellow gold, hand engraved on a rose engine, before having finely powdered silver brushed into the surface. The hands are blued steel with the iconic palm tips that typify Breguet hands. The dial shows the numerical part of the watch's serial number, which, combined with the letter shown on the case back, provide a unique identity for each watch. This second watch is more unusual. This is one of 116 watches produced to commemorate the handover of Hong Kong to China in 1997. 19 in white gold and 97 in yellow gold. This model has a unique engraving style to the dial and a smaller chapter ring positioned so that the hour hand touches the hour markers while the minute hand touches the minute track. The date of the handover is shown at the 12 o'clock position with the serial number at the bottom of the dial. Either side of the 12 marker is the Breguet secret signature this was one of the earliest anti-counterfeiting measures. Breguet was one of the most copied watchmakers of his age, and the number of fakes outnumbered the real ones. To combat this, he asked his friend, an engraver for the French Mint, 
to engrave a miniature version of his signature on the dial of each of his watches. This tradition is continued today, although not across the whole collection. The sapphire case back gives a view of the hand engraved rotor and the movement. The limited series number is at the top of the case back. Both these Breguet watches are available to buy in our vintage and modern wristwatch auction on the 21st of January 2013.